you know what? Let's um Let's talk lows, people. All right, so when we think metal vocals, we probably think of one of three sounds uh, commonly referred to as lows, mids, or highs. Well, today let's focus on those gurgly, deep, chesty, throaty, distorted low tones that we all love so much. So chances are, if you've never done lows or metal vocals to begin with, uh, this can seem pretty tricky, maybe even impossible. I mean, think about it. Uh, the sounds of the vocalists that you're listening to, maybe even looking up to, um, they are like inhuman. They sound de like demons. Like how, how is it even possible? Well, remember, you've got a vocal tract just like they do. So you're equally capable, you just have to figure out how to get started. Now, I wanna make something clear. There are a lot of different ways to do metal low vocals. So in today's video, we're just kinda gonna, gonna kind of explore the starting point. Like, I'm gonna give you the springboard, the basic tools that you need, and from there, you can start uh, practicing and finding uh, finding your way through a lot of different sounds. Now, I'm also gonna have a lot of videos on playing with that low tone, so you're not gonna be completely by yourself, but today, we're starting with the basics. And just in case anybody's curious, uh, this technique is, is considered false chord, but what the heck does that mean exactly? Well, false chord means that we are creating our distorted sound by using the false chords, AKA this vestibular folds, which actually sit above the vocal folds. In doing this, we're creating a sound that's almost pure distortion and almost no phonation. But Mark, what the heck is phonation though? Well, I'll tell you. Go ahead and sing a note, any note. I don't care which note you sing. You can even sing like a little jingle or ditty from your favorite, uh, favorite entertainment source. Ba -ba 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 -ba. That's for the nerds among us. You're welcome. So that sound was pure phonation. Notice how it didn't sound metal at all. Why didn't it sound metal? Well, because there was no distortion on it. So what we're gonna try to do with false chord metal lows is we're gonna try to go as pure distortion as possible and as little phonation as possible. Okay, but we can talk about it all day. Let's get at it. Yeah. So where to start? Well, we're gonna start as if we've heard some really annoying news. Let's say you're at work and your boss asks you to come in on the weekend. Yeah, I'm gonna have to have you come in on Saturday. Well, go ahead and make a slightly exasperated tone. Like, uh, you know, like, and if you don't make this tone, I'm sure you've heard somebody else make it before where they go, ugh, 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 really? Ugh, that's ridiculous. Ugh, ugh. Go ahead and give that a couple tries. Let's do it together. I mean, we're not really together. I'm. This is pre-recorded, and you're at home anywhere in the planet. But it's good to make you feel like you're in the same room. So, let's do it together. Ugh. 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 Now, also. Hopefully, that point in the video is not where somebody decided to walk in the room because it probably sounds really weird. NSFW. But anyways, let's talk about that sound. So you'll notice that that sound was kind of kind of half and half. You had a little bit of this going on, uh, uh, phonation, and you had a little bit of this going on, uh, uh, distortion. So what we're gonna do now that we've got that sound is we're gonna start uh, turning up the distortion and turning down the phonation. So before we move forward, I want you to make sure you're taking the proper breath just as a little mini review. Don't need to engage the shoulders. Ribs should go out like this. Dunzo finito for now. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do this also with a Y, uh, a Y consonant or vowel. A, E, I, O, U, sometimes Y, but they never tell you when Y. Let's just call it a, uh, a Y onset for now. So you're gonna go, yeah, 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 yeah. And we're gonna make this a little bit barky, uh, uh, almost like a dog barking. Uh, now, again, you really don't need to like smack this out. You don't need to, like, we're not fighting anybody here. We're not trying to impress anyone. This is gentle, this is relaxed. This is a very relaxed posture and, and, and vocal tone that we're making. So go ahead, give it a try. Let's do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Now, when you're doing this, you might notice that it feels kind of gravelly or sandy, something like that. That's okay, that's not a problem. The problem is when it turns into pain or if you like start coughing. So like if you start to do a, a vocal, you do that like yeah sound and then all of a sudden you start coughing. That's when you need to take a break, step back, stay quiet for a little while and then reapproach it. A couple little tips to uh, help make sure you're doing this correctly and that it's not gonna hurt. Your larynx shouldn't be really moving much at all. Um, a lot of times people will think that since this is a low vocal sound, their larynx needs to, you know, they need to shove their larynx low, like they're like they're trying to swallow it or something. Well, this is certainly not the case. When I do this, yeah, 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 yeah. My larynx is, is almost not even moving. If it's going anywhere, it's going up very slightly, but I'm not focusing on bringing it up. It's doing that naturally. Second main point, second thing that's gonna help you is thinking about where you're feeling, uh, where you're feeling that distortion happen. Distortion is basically, um, you know, your, your vocal, a, a, a portion of your vocal tract vibrating and creating like a sound. So when you do this, a lot of a lot of people when they start they feel a lot of of like heavy gravelly feeling right behind their larynx so like you know the the bump of the adam's apple they'll feel it behind there <coughs> <coughs> That's not what we want. We want that distortion to move upwards and feel like it's behind our tongue and on our soft palate. Now one thing to keep in mind is that Everything here is connected and in very uh, close proximity, so you're gonna feel a little bit of vibration behind your larynx. That's it's in, it's inevitable, right? The vibration carries through. But what you want is you want about 90% of that distortion and that grit uh, feel uh, happening up top. That can be where the Y onset comes in and is helpful because in saying e e e yeah 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 you're kind of placing everything where it needs to be already. So until this feels comfortable, my suggestion is stay there. Do these uh, exasperated uh, exasperated barking noises and uh, keep it this spot until it feels very comfortable and you can actually start playing around with getting it a little bit lower. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like that. Now eventually, as that becomes more comfortable, you'll be able to hold that sound out longer. <laughs> kind of like that. Now that is actually a good place to stay. There are a lot of successful metal bands and metal vocalists that have that sound of low. Um, I'm gonna make another video. We're gonna explore in the future the concept of vocal compression to kind of create this sound <laughs> and turn it into this sound. <laughs> but that's its own subject. So that's the bare bones basics in creating a low metal vocal. Um, it may not seem glamorous at first, but remember we all start somewhere. And even if you've been doing low vocals for a really long time, but you find you've kind of gotten off track, you know, go back to the basics. I myself sometimes remind myself of the basics, how to how to make these sounds safely, because sometimes, you know, we forget. We get to the point where we wanna be and we forget about our foundation and we start to struggle a little bit. But again, one last reminder, if this, if you feel any pain, strain, struggle, if you're coughing violently, just stop. Um, you know, that's not something you're gonna experience if you're doing it properly and you're probably pushing too hard and using a lot more air than you need. But you know, if you feel like you need any additional help or something's just not clicking, feel free to ask in the comments. You can send me a message on uh, Instagram. I'm, uh, I'm up as Cardivox Academy, or you can hit me up on Facebook through the Kardashev Facebook page. And I do give one-on-one -on -one lessons if you just really want that extra help and you feel like that's something that could be beneficial to you, I'm happy to set that up. But anyway, many thanks, much love, I'm out.